started painting now the pink wall. Doesn't this look so good? I picked like a very pale pink because I want like a very obnoxious one, bright pink. I think this is really cute. It's, I would say this is like a bubblegum pink. Is that what it's called? No. It was called, I have to look at the name. There's, there's gotta be a color called bubblegum pink. Of it's course definitely. there is. But it's so cute and the girls over there, they're so excited. They're watching Victoria's like, my pink, my pink. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? And then for yellow for Victoria, pink for Olivia. For, yeah, pink for Victoria and Olivia. Look, there's powder chilling and I don't even know what that is over there. <laughs> but Enrique has to go to work today at 1 and it's like 12 o'clock I think. I'm not 100% sure but... Wasn't like you did the first code for both? Yeah. Alright guys, we have not vlogged all day today. It's just one of those days as you can see. But a good thing happened today. We finished the girls room. <laughs> but we just need to take down the blue tape and then I think we're good. You know, and also don't be too judgeful of us. We weren't really striving for, for, perfect, bleh, for perfection. For perfection, but I think we did pretty good. Oh no, oh no. Oh man, that's a lot of <laughs> Yeah, that was me. <laughs> wow. Nice. There is a little, you know, overlap here and there. You can barely see Yeah, you have to really want to be looking for yeah. trouble to be like, oh, look at that space right there. Fine. It's fine. You do want to paint that though. That, that, that is a pretty big space. Honestly, it gives it personality. Oh, okay. I think we should leave it. Was that satisfying? Do you guys want to see all corners? Maybe one more. Let's give them one more corner. What are you pull it, Ernie? That's a too short. Here. Come here. Wow. Result of the pastel pink room. So cute. I love the colors. And right here, right now, he's just scraping the floor because there's still a ton of yellow on the floor from the previous paint. So he has to go all around here to scrape it all off. Enrique was kind enough to start unpacking our kitchen stuff on here. He's already started organizing everything. Look how cute that is. And he packed up all the things from that sofa because we got the green light to take that sofa out. I don't know if I told you guys. Well, not to get rid of it, but like take it outside. Also, this table and the what did we end up calling it? The china, the great, the chinero, the chinero. <laughs> so basically, everything here it can go now, but we have to just like oh, make except space. Except the freezer. Except the freezer. We'll wrap it with something to make it look pretty. I don't know. You guys can give us an idea and we'll pick the best one. And <laughs> we can we can um, make like, like a huge present. <gasps> that would be cute! Wrap it! That would be so cute, Enrique. That's a good idea. Okay, well if you beat Enrique's idea of wrapping it like a present, let, let us know. Alright guys, it's 1 a.m. And Enrique is actually eating another hot dog today. But the room is done. I cleaned the floors as well as I could. I didn't get the rug out on anything because I figured I want to buy a really big area rug to like cover this whole room. And it's just going to be covered. So that's the only thing. But the room is ready. Look how cute. Uh, and yeah, there's a hole there because Enrique accidentally peeled it. And then he started peeling more and more. <laughs> And then I told him, okay, stop. Well, you guys will see. We're gonna start putting in furniture in here so that in the morning when the girls wake up, it'll be ready for them. It's the next day. We literally just woke up and the girls are already like being annoying. <laughs> so we're gonna show them the room to get their reaction and then of course show you guys the room. So let's see what they think. For birthday? 
we have a surprise for her. And oh my gosh. Her. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. I very surprise ever. Mina, Victoria's bed. Oh, Victoria and Olivia's bed. I guess I didn't show you guys, but look it. This is, well, we still need to hang some paintings, but this is basically it. And we need to get a new duvet cover for the bed and everything. But this is how it all ended up looking. Get out of the way, Garfield. Sorry. This is so cute. This is so cute. So cute. And Daddy in the big bed and Lily in the Jump in the bed. And we gotta get some curtains up there. But finally, we have one room down. <laughs> They're already started playing. It makes me so happy. And he was just happy for party boy. Do all his happy hours. Maybe he's been happy. He's been having it in that bottle. All right guys, after that super emotional reveal, we are gonna go and eat something and then go to the store and get a new memory card because we were not able to upload yesterday and it's because this memory card is giving us problems. We've been having so many problems with our memory cards now and it's not our fault. We had a vlog ready for you guys. It's the memory card's fault. And the computer, it's a combination of the computer. And the computer, yeah. Our computer's slow and outdated. We're gonna go to the healthy point. You know, it's one of those days where we're not craving anything but a healthy food, like a nice bowl. So hopefully they do us right and it's really good, like in Seattle, because Seattle is known for their healthy foods. McAllen, not so much. So It's known for its greasy tacos and Tex-Mex and the cuz. <laughs> so we're outside of the restaurant now. We sat and everything, the place is super cute. And then at the last minute, Enrique's like, I don't, I kind of want Mexican food now because he was ordering and you know they had like a Mexican option they had enchiladas or something and that's what he was gonna order I was like well we should have just went to a Mexican restaurant if you're gonna order that if we're gonna go eat there get the bowl it was it was but a vegan meat it was enchilada. vegan I was like hell no I'm not gonna pay four dollars more than I would pay in a regular Mexican place just for a vegan option that I don't even like yeah we thought it was gonna be more like bowl options they didn't really have bowl options. I used to work for those of you who didn't know I used to work at a, a healthy smoothie salad bowl place back in Seattle so I know my way around a bowl. yeah he used to bring uh, the, the bowls he used to bring bowls and all the, the balls time. they were so good we were so healthy so healthy and fit and mm -hmm. now we're so unhealthy and fat speak for yourself homie have you looked yourself in the mirror lately because yeah, you're gorgeous <laughs> okay take me somewhere to eat because I'm starving store it's already 12 we have not ate anything Oh, but we ordered a coffee from that place. Amazing. You guys, I hate coffee. I dislike it so much. It makes me nauseous. But this, I could drink this whole thing. It's a maca cinnamon. Maca cinnamon latte. latte. So good. It, is it, really it good. has coffee flavor too, but I like it. It's so weird. That's the first time that ever happens where I like coffee. Mama needs her coffee. Maybe. Maybe I'm just she maturing. Make, she always made fun of moms who are like, Oh my God, Mama needs, make, mama needs her coffee. <laughs> And now you're drinking your coffee, mama. Let's go to Don Chavacos. All right, we're gonna check out this restaurant in downtown McAllen. It's called Maddie's Restaurant. I think I have to pay. I don't think these work anymore. We ordered agua de melon, which is melon water. It's so good. It's authentic. It's so good. It's made on the moment. Natural fruit, organic, sí, tú que querías locally algo saludable. sourced, no added sugars. Fine, taking it in some mental strength. Channel the power. Focusing the relationships. Ooh, you 
¿Qué es, Victoria? Sí, entomatadas. <risa> entomatadas. En es Yummy. Di, entomatadas. Well, this is Victoria and Olivia's meal. We got a chile relleno and I got chilejitas, but they're still, ooh, they're right there waiting. Mm, chile relleno o te relleno de chile. Oh, that's for me. Look at this. So amazing. How's she feeling? She said better. How do we take it? Just a I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not my problem that you're hungry, dude. Your face, though. She said my hat is disgusting and I look like a disgusting man because I didn't have a dollar for her. We really don't have cash, though, but to say that to someone after you say we don't have cash, like. Well, right. she's obviously out of, my, out, mm. out of her mind. Okay, we just got done eating at the place. It was so amazing, the but... The food was delicious, but... But, like, everything was going A1. It was just like, I even said, ooh, I can't wait till my mom comes. I'm going to take her here because it's just so good and authentic. I'm eating my chilaquiles. I take a bite. I'm, like, halfway done, and then all of a sudden, I take out a chilaquile, and then there's a plastic... It's a little tag, like... A, a tag, tag, yeah. And the tag was, like, warning, uh, flammable, keep out of... Uh, keep, uh, keep out of uh, the reach of children or whatever yeah so we don't know where the tie was from and then we show the owner the actual owner and uh and she just like dismiss it like it's nothing yeah and uh and then at the end like i i, I mean maybe because it's happened like two three times to us <laughs> and i was like oh my god we're so sorry dude you don't know us anything like it was our bad right and no she, they charge us everything and when i said like oh like is the next one gonna be free <laughs> and she's like oh no that was probably from a, from like a spoon or something and i like but a spoons are not flammable like what well, this is definitely for some from something else like what if you poison us or something <laughs> and they just didn't care so it was a shame because it was really good and even i even took already like the girl that was uh helping us she's so nice yeah and this and the service was good also that was if that wasn't enough these new these guys came in and they asked her like hey so how are you feeling and she's like oh i'm feeling better the antibiotics are, are working now the, so the, she's obviously sick the yeah, owner the, the, the and, owner. and she was in the kitchen she was the one cooking our food probably and she's sick and then when she started eating she like <sighs> So yeah, we probably have COVID again. Or just, I, I mean, if she was taking antibiotics, either COVID or she was some type of infection, like the yeah. infection, maybe she had acid. But like, who says that when you're about to eat? That's kind of nasty. We had already, we had already in like half our plate. Yeah. I was pretty much done when she says like, oh yeah, I'm better. The antibiotics are working. <sighs> So, I, mean, I never even telling Karin, like, you know what, if I get a hair on my foot, I probably wouldn't care because, and then, and then, a freaking tag and her bacteria, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm still drinking the melon water because it's really good. Because the girl made them. The actual, oh, the... Yeah, it's not, it's not, actually, no, mine was made by the owner. <gasps> I already drank half of it, so if I got the virus, I already got... Yeah. <laughs> That is what happened. That was the story. Never again. Now what we're gonna do is go to Target to get the damn memory. You need to get your eyebrows done. I know. I just got my eyebrows done really recently with you guys. Remember? I'm hairy. Just hairy all over. Okay, guys. It's the next day. Um, we're gonna go to Home Goods. Gonna check out Target. Maybe you know all those type of stores because my mom said that for the girls' present for Christmas, she wants to get them the the carpet and the blankets and the drapes for her, for their room. So I'm gonna go check out a few stores, see if we see anything cute, and pretty much to plan for today. Maybe do some cleaning tonight when Enrique gets back from work. Poor Enrique, he left from work so stressed. Like, it's also getting to him. At first he was like, I don't care about the house being messy. Like, it doesn't affect my mood. But today he's like, I noticed he was all serious and just, he looked really antsy. And I was like, what, what's wrong? And he's like, well, it's getting to me, like seeing the house like this. And it's true. Like, I'm so happy to be out of the house right now. I, I can't wait for us to just finish everything, but it is a long process. So it's just a little stressful. <laughs> Christmas trees. So now we're in Target because we couldn't find anything home goods. It was no good selection. So I'm hoping here we find something cute. You know, Target has a lot of cute, cute little things for girls' rooms. But it's hot. They're so cute. Aliyah! 
Choo choo train! These are really cute, but they're too small. It's the only downfall. And then they have the bigger options over here, but they don't really match. Maybe this one. Maybe more like this. Okay, we're out of Target, nothing there. It's kind of empty. So now I'm at, they have Marshalls and literally next to it is Ross. This was all literally next to Home Goods and Target where I just was. I think I might find everything at Ross, honestly. At least like the carpet and the drapes and they're gonna be cheaper here. Hey guys, I have to get the F out of that Ross. It was so packed, a bunch of weird people. And by weird, I just mean like rude people. Like people don't look where they're going and they bump into you and then they like push your car. Like what the hell? Get the fuck away. So I'm gonna go to Marshall's now. Where's bean bag? I don't know. Back inside the car and I'm exhausted. I went to Marshall's to fail yet again and oh my god you guys. McAllen dude. I love my Mexican people, but they need to learn. <laughs> Just common sense or manners like I never had issues with this living in Seattle but people here are very I want to say just selfish like you they don't think of other people like when I'm in the store if I'm in someone's way I try to scoot over a little bit you know I'm like always aware of my surroundings to like you know just so I don't have to annoy people right because I know how it is how people can be in your way or you know you want to see something and you take too long I don't know but like nobody just like pays attention it really bothers me and I don't want to become like that you know I always like you know being cur courteous of other people and you know trying to be there for them but nobody says fucking thank you here when I'm nice to them like I let ton of people pass in front of me like oh yeah like I can see you know you're going fast go in front of me or do this do that but fuck that you know people oh it's irritating I'm gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond now that is my last resort and then if I don't find anything there I'm just gonna go tomorrow by myself because I mean my girls are really good but it's still hard you know unbuckling buckling them again carrying them it, it is kind of a lot of work and I'm really annoyed with all the people now I'm outside of a store called Kirkland's I've never been here and the only reason I'm going here is because there's like three cars like nobody goes to the store I assume and over there is Bed Bath & Beyond in Burlington and the parking lot was packed I guess you can't see that far but it is like a five stores down this like mall strip area and it was so packed so many people I just don't want to deal with that right now I'm not in the mood I'm kind of sassy right now so this seems like a peaceful place this store is super cute it's very boho is what I'm getting from it they didn't have carts, but they let me bring in the Bed Bath & Beyond one. There was one right next to my car because Olivia's sleeping. So I think I am going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond since I already have this cart. It'll be easier than driving there and finding parking. Now this is what I'm talking about. There's like no people. Empty. What the heck? Okay guys, I've given up. I'm just going to buy things from Etsy or Amazon. It's going to be so much simpler. So right now we just went to the store next door, which is Michael's. We're just, you know, browsing. I, I want to like walk around a bit because Olivia's sleeping. I'm at Burlington now because it was literally right next door. It's actually pretty cool here. They have a lot of things. She has risen. <laughs> All right, ladies and germs. The shopping is done for the day and Enrique is just getting off work but since I have the car, his co-workers picked him up. But I'm gonna pick him up since I'm already out and about. So we're gonna go see Enrique now, yay! It's five o'clock, I'm freaking exhausted from that whole shopping. That was actually a lot of shopping. Yet we didn't buy a single thing. Six stores, we didn't buy one thing. Actually seven stores because we ended up going into PetSmart as well. It is what it is. Now we're gonna go get Papa. Vamos ir a ver a Papa. A Papa. Victoria, are you tired from shopping? Yeah? Are you hungry? What do you want to eat? I eat them with my mac and cheese. Mac and cheese again. That girl always, she had mac and cheese once and now that's all she wants. Like I see how kids get picky if you give them mac and cheese because that's all she wants now. But obviously I don't give in. I give it to her like once a week. That's it. Hendrik is in the house. Wow. He's back from work and so rude. I came to pick him up and he's eating these tacos at this amazing place. I mean, it doesn't look amazing, but I just took a 
bite out of it and it's so freaking good and you didn't tell us. We're so hungry. I don't want to take longer. I feel you can get here and eat. I started driving like a... A pig? Huh. I started driving like a McAllener. I got in front of cars. I didn't care anymore. I was like, <laughs> fuck you all. That's what you guys are going to do. Did you get followed? No, nobody. What's the 411? Your mom is coming? That was mm -hmm. really sudden. Mm -hmm. I guess I need his mom coming. She didn't even tell me. She just sent me the hair location and she's on her way. <laughs> let's, let's shoot this and then we can keep talking. <laughs> I got you. It's good? Yeah. It's bomb. <laughs> Back home. I almost dropped my soda. Look at and because got tortillas from there. Ooh. Can I take a bite of it just like that? No, you'll die. So now that we just had our tacos, we're gonna get some more tacos. We're going to Shekos because you know it's mandatory. That those tacos that you guys saw was just an appetizer. Yes. And just got have, the ball rolling. And then we have the dessert over here. Ooh. My and Victoria's still eating her taco. <laughs> Checos always hooks you up with frijoles charros first, which we all love. We just ordered one for Olivia too. Because everybody always assumes she doesn't want any, but of course she wants some. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria was trying to do it too, but the but the spoon fell. Nothing some skilled enchilados can can fix. Look at Kiwi greets us. And oh, there's powder back there. Kiwi. She's annoyed by powder. <laughs> Welcome to our crib. Whoa, she came outside. Hi, Potter. Let's see what you destroyed. Oh, oh another cool. one of Olivia's toys. Yay. Lovely. The boho ones. The boho ones. We're back home, and I'm currently putting away this big box of all of the girls' clothes. And I have to fill these two. Since we don't have a closet for them, I have to make do with these two drawers. Enrique is in here watching the office. Michael Scott, you're tired. You're tired, yeah. We got empanadas. Look that's at all how, of these. That's how she smuggles her cocaine. And then she brought hojarascas, and we're all munching on some right now. Olivia loves it. Victoria is loving it. She's got it all over her forehead. And she's staring at herself while she's eating. That's so fun. Abuela brought a present for Victoria. Yeah. And Olivia. Y para Olivia. No entra ahí. A ver. Ábrelo. Quítale ¿Qué esto. Es, ¿Qué es? Ábrelo. Wow. Oh, wow. ¿Qué es? Sácalo. Sácalo. Cheers. ¿Qué es? Oh. Cheers. ¿Qué más? Pues saca. ¿Qué es eso? Wow. Cheese! Para que hagan relleno. Para que hagan relleno. You got your cup back. ¿Qué es? ¡Wow, chamarra! ¡Wow, qué bonito! ¡Es súper ¡Para Victoria! ¡Wow! ¡Qué bonita chamarra! ¡Y un pantalón! Mira, y ese es Olivia, me imagino. Ah, para que combine. Combina. For Olivia and for Victoria. That's so cute. Y este pantalón combina con. Ah, los dos traen pantalón. Sí, las dos. ¡Crayons! ¡Uh, mira, para pintar! ¡Mira! ¡Libro! ¡Libro para pintar! ¡Wow! 
Mira ese. Es Dora. Es el libro de Dora. Oh, sí la conoce, la otra no sí, sé. Sí, el, el otro. Dora es Dora. Mira. Dora es Dora. ¡Wow! ¿Te gusta? Epa, epa, es Julia, Dora Victoria. Esta es Dora. Sí. This is how their room looks at night. Isn't it so cute? They got their little fairy lights. Victoria's so cozy in her big girl bed. She has all that space. Olivia, I was gonna put them together, but Olivia is such a wild baby. We tried it, but she just like starts playing everywhere and you know, it's just, it wasn't gonna happen. So we put her playpen here at night, which works out great. They still, they still like it. Oh my God, I just love their room so much. Um, we got their little night lights, a bee. The little light up bunny. Oh, it looks really weird on camera. It doesn't look flashy like that, but they just like gradually change colors. Really cute. We've got their fairy lights, and then we're gonna hang up the curtains there. It's just really cute and cozy. And then Enrique's mom is gonna sleep here with Victoria tonight. Victoria's really excited about it. Yeah. And then I ended up putting all the clothes away, you guys. Like, everything is full. Since we don't have a closet, I had to do it the Mary Kondo way. If you guys have seen Mary Kondo, you know what I mean. It's like you roll everything up in little balls so it just creates more space. So all these are filled the Mary Kondo way. And it all fit. Look, I still have space actually, so that's cool. Enrique right now is he's having a coffee with his mom at 11 p.m. And me, I'm gonna start editing the video because I don't wanna um, take so long without uploading again. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all the love, the support, and all the amazing comments. We love reading them all. I'm sorry if we haven't been like responding to as many as we usually do. Usually we always respond to so many, but like most of them actually, but lately it's just been, oh my God. I guess I don't record much of that, but it's been, it's been really stressful, you guys. Really, really stressful on us. But that's why we're always hanging out in Victoria's room now because it's just the one room that just feels like home. <laughs> okay, well thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video, which hopefully will be tomorrow, okay? Let's hope, let's hope. Bye! Say bye!